All right. How did I arrive at 92,000 a year income for him? Huh? You want to show him? So the, the death benefit at age that you showed when he started taking income would level out and match when he actually died, so it would be the same and passed on. That was my criteria, wasn't it? Yeah, but how did I arrive at it? Uh, do, did I ask the old if there's any military backgrounds in here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. nobody is. Uh, was anybody an artillery man? <laughs> All right, I'm going to send you all folks to Oklahoma. This won't take long. That's the artillery school in the USA. Now, Monica, back under uh, about 12 miles. Now, I don't know how many kilometers that is. I can't very, I don't know. That's okay. Can y'all forgive me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. About 12 miles back there. There's six uh, 155 millimeter cannons. That's a battery, an artillery battery. Now, out here where the action is, uh, there's an, uh, an expendable guy called a second lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's camouflaged. He has field glasses that have a vertical scale and a horizontal scale on it. He has a compass, he has a map, and he has a radio. He sees a target out there, he wants to get rid of that thing. Now, he's been in Fort Sill and he's graduated. He can pretty well tell you where that uh, target is on that map. He looks at the grid coordinates, gets on the radio, calls the fire direction center, and uh, gives them the coordinates. One of those, one of you, send, tell one of them guys down there, that battery, send a, a white phosphor shell out here to these coordinates. Now, it has no explosive ability. It's a white puff of smoke. It makes it easier to him, for him to see. Now, because of the, uh, it's just survey this, of what the artillery is all about. Uh, they know from the time that shell leaves the uh, muzzle of the cannon, uh, they know how long it'll take to get out to the target. But they give him a 10 second countdown. You know, 10, 9, 8, uh, flash. Well, uh, when he heard that countdown starting, he had his glasses fixed on that thing. He didn't want to miss his, uh, this idea. Well, it looked to him like it was on line, but it was about 50 yards short of the target. He does not have a yardstick. He calls back, same guy, throw another one out there. Uh, Add 100, splash. Now, this one went over the target about 50 yards. He got a yardstick out and he will. Drop 50 and fire for effect. All six cut, a little, cut loose with the high explosive and there went the target. All right, now y'all all graduated from Fort Hill uh, Artillery School. You get a diploma in about six months in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, look at the dividend, the uh, 8865. Um, Let's go back to uh, illustration uh, one, I'm sorry. Uh, illustration one, I told you 92,000, that's what we were trying to arrive at. Look at the dividend at 865, it's 71,942, right? Mm -hmm. That won't pay 92,000, will it, Will? Say yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all do agree? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then 1,000 is not as big as 92,000, right? <laughs> okay. How did we arrive at 92? Well, go down about to eight. I know that those dividends are engineered to keep getting better. Just as a principle. Now, the specifics of it, we never know. Good grief. But you don't have to be that nitpicky. Uh, go down there to... Uh, uh, Line uh, 40, he's 69 at the beginning of that year, 60 at the end of the year, there's 80,000 there, right? Yeah. Uh, I said, let's try 80,000 per year. Ran the illustration. And when they do, when I did, the numbers on the right side of the page, the death benefit and cash value kept getting bigger. 
Curtis, I didn't want that. That was my criteria. It had nothing to do with the life insurance company's uh, ambitions or whatever. Well, when I, I didn't want that to happen, uh, the numbers would get bigger. I wanted the same number, like Richard said, at age 65, death benefit, uh, one, uh, two, uh, 2 .4 million. And I wanted the same death benefit at uh, age 85, 2.4 million. And so uh, that wasn't what I wanted to come up with in results. So I said, let's try 100,000 income. Random illustration. Numbers on the left, on the right side of the page started going down. All right, y'all see the connection with y'all children now? I just closed in, that's all. Now, is there any law that says he can't draw 200,000 a year out of here? No. But when he does, he's gonna eat it in the right side of the page. Well, that's okay, if that's what he wants done. You know, that's up to that. Now, suppose he could get by on $75,000 a year uh, tax-free for the entire time. Uh, make well, policy loans totally well uh, it will work but the numbers on the right side of the page will go up y'all understand, understand our artillery now yeah. Yeah, let's go back over there to illustration 2 and see what happened I'm going to illustrate yeah illustration 2 okay uh, illustration 2 watch the screen we move one truck from the uh, right side of the Great Wall of China to the left side of the Great Wall of China. Uh, he's borrowed $52,600. He's paying back $1,500 a month. And uh, hey, Mark, you see that big bit of logo on that truck right there? This is authentic, man. Uh, I'm not telling you lies. <laughs> <laughs> this is out in Oregon. But he's still uh, financing fourteen thousand six hundred per month, right? He borrowed fifty-two thousand six hundred, but he's paying back fifteen hundred dollars a month, just like he was paying associate finance. And he gets a new truck every uh, four years, and uh, now he's got a million nine eighty-eight. Uh, if he dies, three point three, uh, three point one five eight. Is that what that is? Million. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but he didn't die. $125,000 a year. Add up all that income. He has recovered the $315,200 that he put in the policy. Plus $2.034 million. And when he died, $3.119 million. Terry said, I'll pronounce, son. I'm beginning to see a pattern. Can I run two trucks through here? Terry, I reminded you, bankers do anything they want to if the bank has the capacity. How much you need? He said, well, 52,600 twice is 105,200. Will, can I lend 105,200? Yes. Insurance company has got to lend 157, right? Doesn't he outrank everybody? Does. All right, so he borrows in the illustration three. He borrows uh, 105, paying back 3,000 uh, per month. Uh, he's playing an honest banker, but still bleeding 13,000 a month to Associates Finance. He's got their money from insurance companies. But oh well. <laughs> All right, illustration three. He replaced the two trucks uh, every four years. Now he has 2.459 million in the uh, cash value. Suppose he dies, 3.9 million. Didn't die, won't income, 150,000 a year. Had a little bit of income, uh, Jesse. Uh, go to the next right column, there's your summary of them. They hadn't uh, done for you. He's recovered the 407,000 to put into it. Uh, you see, Dean, that 470, uh, uh, that's 160,000 initial capital. The rest of that is just premium. Therefore, it's cost basis. Therefore, he gets it back tax free. All, he is, all he's doing is incrementally, he's paying more capital into a policy that will accommodate it. That's all. 
Remember, uh, rule number one is what? Don't be Think long range. Rule number two is don't be afraid to capitalize. Don't be afraid to capitalize. Well, that's all you're doing. Incrementally, the money that was going to social finance is going to be, become capital, uh, and that is all. Yeah. Ridiculously simple. Yeah. Now, uh, add up that uh, money in the uh, it was, okay. Where are we? Illustration first. All right. Then the next illustration here is financing uh, on page four. Uh, I'm trying. Illustration number four, page sixty-one. <laughs> Everything up through line four is exactly the same, but at this point now he has moved three trucks from the right side of the wall to the left side of the wall, paying back forty-five hundred uh, per month. Uh, that's uh, on his banking, but he's still bleeding eleven thousand five hundred to somebody that should be getting the money. All right, when he gets down to the age 65 now, what's his cash pay? A 2.928 million, right? Mm -hmm. All right, what's the outlay? Next to the right is uh, 625. Now subtract 160 from that 625, Richard, and what is that? That's his original first four. Yeah, first that's, that's yeah. Any more, that interest that he was paying to, uh, equivalent to, interest he was paying to associates that now is capital, and uh, that's uh, can be uh, received tax free. Well, what if he dies, Richard? 4.642 million. It's going to be rough. He didn't die. Tough. Yes. He wants income, 175000 a year. Add up all that income. He has recovered that 625000 Right, Melanie? Yes. He's recovered that 625000 plus 2.675 million, 676 million. He died. 5 million. Mm. Mm. Terry says, Dr. Nelson, can I run more trucks for you, huh? Terry, That's you're the trying to do too much or too little. How many times have you all heard in a business, Wayne, they were undercapitalized? Yeah. Well, what's the obvious answer then, Dalgoni? More capital. More capital. But, Let's suppose he did that have have that finality and couldn't think. Uh, he could do this. Uh, in the next illustration, illustration uh, five, up through line four, it's identical with the previous illustrations. Now between line uh, four and line twelve, uh, it's almost the same as the previous illustration, i.e. financing uh, three uh, trucks every uh, four years. Uh, I had to tweak the numbers there and preserve the uh, debt a little bit longer um, to be able to accommodate the money it was, it was paying in. Uh, did I go to, did I, did I cover that? <laughs> I had to tweak the numbers because he was paying off the loan too quickly. Well, that's not being honest. That's taking these out the back door. Okay. So when I tweaked it, uh, here's the numbers you get. At the uh, end of 12 years, you notice he's got 365675 in cash value. Now, at that point, uh, Jesse, look what he can do, love. He's moved all four trucks to the left side of the wall and one logging tractor. Now remember logging tractors cost twice as much as trucks. Alright, so he is borrowing three hundred and fifteen thousand six uh, point six out of uh, that three million three hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. Uh, got that? He is he is borrowing three fifteen point six to finance all this equipment and he's borrowing it from that three hundred and sixty five thousand that is in cash value and the bonds. All right, every four years he replaces that equipment. Now, Curtis, when he gets down to the age 65, check out the cash value, sir. Yeah, I took a glance at that. 3.5 billion. Monica, what was it when the insurance company handled it all, love? 1.5. He made two million bucks. By shopping at home. By shopping at home, tax free. 
area? Uh, well, uh, let's say in that. This is 5.575 million. Didn't die. Let's get the income instead. Stephen, uh, 225,000 a year. Right. Passive income. Now let's add all that passive add up all that passive income. He's recovered the nine hundred and forty six thousand capital put into the system. Plus three point three uh, two eight million. And he died five point two eight six million. Now tell me why this guy needed a tax qualified retirement plan. Uh, huh? Why would you want a tax qualified retirement plan? Do you know the worst thing about getting a tax qualified plan, tax qualified retirement plan? The worst thing is it screws up your thinking and you can't think straight. That's all. They are now running your mind just like the banker told you that. They control your mind by making them think they're giving you a, a privilege of some kind. And there is no way. 